Hi, I wanted to make a video about the use of shockwave therapy for Achilles tendinopathy. And I'm making this video because when I wanted to get this treatment done, I looked on YouTube and the only videos I could find were by doctors and other physical therapists about how great this treatment is, how easy it is, and how quickly it works. But I wasn't able to find anything from patients uh, describing this treatment. So this is the reason I'm making this video. I really like to run. Um, I generally do 30 minute runs, seven to eight minute miles, three days a week is what I used to do. And I wear minimalist shoes. I've been doing that for about eight years and I've had no injuries except this one on my left Achilles tendon. Uh, prior to that, I used regular running shoes and was injured all the time. So I was running one day back in September, this is like six months ago, and my foot slipped within my shoe just a little bit, and then I felt the pain in my tendon. I had to hobble slash walk back to my apartment, and uh, I, laid, I laid off it. I just didn't use it. I figured it'll heal on its own. Uh, didn't walk much, just tried to go easy. As I felt it kind of getting better, I increased the amount that I walked, but as I would increase the amount that I walked, the pain got worse. I even tried hiking, the pain got worse. So it would get better, it would get worse. And it just, after a couple of months, I was like, this is, it was clear that this was not healing. And it was getting really frustrating because I wanted to get running again, I wanted to get active, I wanted to hike, and I couldn't because I didn't want to re-injure my tendon. So I went in for physical therapy, I did the normal uh, physical therapy kind of regimen. They gave me some stretches to do. I did um, the little shock therapy where they hook you up to electrodes and then the microwave therapy where they kind of cook your foot a little bit. And it helped a little bit, not too much. I switched my shoes from the thin um, uh, minimalist shoes to thicker running shoes and even got myself a little ankle support kind of thing. It got a little bit better, but I would walk just a little too far and my ankle would be in pain again. And then I was afraid that if I continued to walk or I continued to have elevated level of activity, and by elevated, I mean like walking a little faster than the day before. So nothing intense, definitely no running. And it just, it just has not been getting better and it's really frustrating. So I found out about shockwave therapy. Um, I did my first treatment of shockwave therapy two days ago and uh, so far you know it's it's too early to tell if there's any effect but I'll tell you about my experience went in there um, and they have you lay for me lay face front on the table uh, he uses a little kind of a looks similar to a gun kind of thing and he uses uh, some conductive gel I guess to help conduct the shocks. Each treatment uh, consisted of 3,000 shocks. Um, we did it at a rate of two shocks per second. You have a level of intensity that you can select between one and five. I chose one and he recommended that I start with one. And from the videos, they made it seem like it wasn't too painful or uncomfortable. I'll be honest, I found it to be very uncomfortable. And I found it to be rather painful, I'd say, one out of 10, it had to be close to like a four. It, um, it may have been a very mental thing, just knowing that the purpose of this treatment is to cause small amounts of damage to, to then stimulate blood vessel growth and healing. Um, but it made me feel very uncomfortable. And, and there was some pain I could feel, especially as he aimed his little shock waver um, towards the bone and you could feel it in the bone you can feel it going through the tendon each shock it, it, it's kind of painful and I found myself really having to concentrate on breathing deeply during the session to kind of cope with these uncomfortable feelings and the pain um, but I made it through it took about 20 minutes I could have selected three shocks or three cycles per second and that probably would have reduced the amount of time it took to do the therapy the therapist then told me it would likely be painful or, or sore for the next three days after treatment. 
Uh, I'll be honest, so far it's not particularly sore any worse than it was, uh, which is good. And uh, it feels a little weak maybe, or I'm just afraid to put any weight on it. Um, so, so far it's okay. Uh, the therapist told me I can expect improvement in ability to use or rather, I can expect improvement after three treatments. I've only done one. He did say some people, um, some people's issues are resolved after one, not common. Of course, I hope that is the case for me. I won't really know until next week. So, uh, I will keep you guys updated. If you have any questions, please comment below. And remember, uh, subscribe and like this video if you found it informative. And uh, next video will come uh, next week, and I'll let you know if I continue uh, with the therapy.